Lately, I've been watching some animal videos on YouTube. Not the cute, fluffy kind. The vicious law of the jungle kind. For example, a bunch of lionesses were hanging around watching a hippo give birth. A long and hard birth. When the hippo was finally finished and in a very weakened state, the lionesses moved in for the kill. And they relentlessly chased her for a few hours until the poor hippo finally gave up. Then they tore her to pieces and ate her. The law of the jungle is as vicious as you can imagine. One curious thing about us humans is we believe we are not like that. That we care about our fellow man. That we are more angel than monkey. And to be sure, this is a worthy goal. A noble goal. Unfortunately, it's one that politicians, bankers, and oligarchs don't share. Maybe down at your local church within your community, you may find a certain degree of fairness. But that kind of thing is getting harder and harder to come by these days. According to historians, before the Industrial Revolution, which took place a few hundred years ago, 90% of humans were slaves of one form or another for almost all of human history. In fact, this is one very repeatable aspect of history. Anytime an agrarian society pops up and they grow grain, the wealth and power becomes very stratified. Why grain? Because grain can be stored. It becomes real wealth. Wealth that the wealthy can use to create more wealth. They pay soldiers and make sure they control all the sources of ore. Why ore? So they can control metallurgy and therefore control the weapons. And like clockwork, every time an agrarian society pops up, a few hundred years later, you've got the super rich up on top and all the serfs down at the bottom. From a purely historical perspective, life doesn't seem fair at all. So what's the answer? To wait around for angels to swoop down from heaven and save us? Cry in your Cheerios every morning about the horrible world that we live in? Or get in the game and do the best you can? One of the reasons now and historically the elites became elites in the first place is they understand how wealth and money really work and they become absolutely ruthless in the application of this knowledge. Now, you don't need to become ruthless, but it might help to understand the same tools the elite understand and use them for your own benefit. After all, your empire is not going to build itself. To get started, visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash financial dash brilliance.